Good morning, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Capricorn? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring, Cappy. What's up with my Capricorn Collective? Whew, sun, moon, rising, Venus. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Capricorn Collective. Capricorn, what is up with you, Capricorn? What is up with Capricorn? Cappy, Cappy, Cappy. What is up with my Capricorn Collective? Peace and thank you, Spirit. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Oh, y'all hear the train? <laughs> I love that. Perfect timing, too. Cappies, we had a card do something. Well, you all you all can see the cards. Ooh, look at that, the Emperor. Oh, that showed up in Gemini's reading as well. Uh, Cappies, you know, you are uh, a six energy, so Capricorn and Gemini, your all's readings can definitely coincide. Well, it showed up right there, so we're just going to put it right there, y'all. So that's good. Boss energy showing up. That could be uh, your energy, someone coming towards you. Two of Wands in reverse, so we got some stagnation here, but why are you stagnant? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, caught in a trap, can't go back, because I love you too much, baby. So, Cappies, if this isn't your energy, this could be someone you're dealing with, and they are stuck like a motherfucker, okay? They ain't going nowhere anytime soon. No, they're not. And it's cold. It's cold where they're at. It's cold. They're cold. They're feeling cold and neglect. They, they need to hop on that train. If anything, just to warm the fuck up, right? Maybe someone needs to take a drive. 58 could mean something. 582 could mean something here. Uh, May of 82. Uh, yeah, May of 82. Uh, four of pentacles here in reverse. Oh, with the queen of pentacles. Ooh. Losing stability. Four of Pentacles there in reverse with that Queen of Pentacles in the upright. And we got the Five of Pentacles here. So, what's, what's going on here, Cappies? Two of Swords. Ooh, 40. Oh, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Okay, Cappies. So we've got the Four of Pentacles, and then we got this Two of Swords energy. Someone is stuck. Head over heart decision, right? Maybe it's still in with baby mama energy here, or a strong dominant feminine energy around you, Capricorn. Um, to me, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is, le is letting somebody go. She's put someone out in the cold, and she's just... She's taking the loss, and she's just holding on to maybe what she's got. Uh, it's really the energy that I'm feeling here. But whoever she removed herself from, someone else is really feeling the loss. With the Justice card there in reverse, things didn't go the way somebody had planned. Four cups in reverse with the four wands in reverse. So we got three fours up here, four, 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 and all three of them are in reverse. So I don't think somebody's plan went to plan. With the Justice here in reverse... Um, it's almost that energy of somebody's, it, the ship backfired on somebody. This is almost, if someone tried to put you in a stagnant position, make you feel stuck or stagnant at any point in time, and maybe tried to hold uh, money or stability against you, uh, that shit didn't work. You know, sometimes you're better off just taking the fucking loss and getting the fuck out of Dodge, right? Is it really worth your time or energy? I sometimes the best thing to do is just take the fucking loss and just move the fuck on, right? 
uh, uh, let and that could fuck people up, especially if they thought you were going to put, put up more of a resistance, especially if they thought they could keep you in some fuck shit energy, because that's how low vibrational energies work. That's why this justice card is in reverse, because someone didn't get the result that they wanted, right? They thought they were going to hold you up, and you just let that shit go, right? <laughs> the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. Burn, motherfucker. You're like, I don't give a shit. It can all burn down around you. You're done with it, right? And that, in return, left somebody stuck. Especially this justice in reverse as someone was onto some fuck shit. One the, this is just like, whatever the hell someone tried to do to you, Capri Court, they're getting it back, okay? They're getting it back, and now they're stuck. That two of pentacles here, or the two of wands, excuse me, with the uh, two of swords. Yeah, they fuck shit done. They done fell on their own damn sword while they were standing there waiting. And you just let that shit go, because you know what? Shit always balances out in the end. Sometimes you just got to take the fucking loss and move forward. Because that, that's emperor, empress energy, king and queen energy. You know what to give your time and energy to and what not to. You're like, you know what? I'm going to go take care of me and my baby. And fuck the rest of this shit. I don't need it. You want it? Have it. I don't give a shit, right? It ain't that important, Cappies. And that pisses a lot of people off, especially if there are some fuck shit in body. We got a King of Wands energy here, so we got Fire Sign. Someone very determined, looks a little stubborn. Yeah, shit didn't go the way somebody planned, because you just said, fuck it, take it all. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't mean that much. It doesn't mean that much. It doesn't mean that much. You don't mean that much to me. Bye. Right? Bye. Why are you holding on? You know, some people are uh, hate to see shit in that they just keep this fucking shit going because they need the attention. When you pull your attention, it's like when a, a, a parent scolds the child for doing something wrong, right? And you put them in fucking timeout. Only you put somebody in a permanent timeout. You're like, this ain't that important and you are definitely not that important. It's over with. And someone's just pissed as fuck. Oh, they pissed as fuck. They already had shit planned out. How's that tower moment? That change brought in. Capricorn, this could be something that you're planning on doing or something that you've done in the past. And someone just can't get the fuck over the fact that you left them. They can't get over the fact that you left them. That's that ten of swords in reverse. They don't want this shit to end. They're holding on, Capricorn. Page of pentacles in reverse. <sighs> Wheel of Fortune. That this person done lost out. That Wheel of Fortune. But it, it, in the reverse, there someone just lost out. Clarify that. What the fuck? What the fuck, Happies? Okay, so this is what I'm looking at here, right? The Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Page of Pentacles in reverse, and the Two of Cups in reverse. So. If someone was on some shit and they thought they were going to, Cappies, bear with me on this. I think someone absolutely thought they were going to be able to come in and make that offer and make an offer to you and you like put your guard down. If someone was trying to call your bluff, if someone was seriously trying to call your bluff or play some kind of fuck shit game with you, you done blew that out of the fucking water. So if someone was holding back emotions, if someone was just, you know, trying to manipulate and play games, trying to make you feel like you needed them, uh, you done basically told this person, nope, I don't think so, bye, because you just dropped it, right? If they started trying to do that kind of uh, fuck shit, maybe you started dating this person, maybe you were in a relationship with this person and they just started trying to just, just do some manipulative fuck shit. You could have just been like, you know what? I don't need this. I don't need your shit. Uh, take it all. I'm out of here. You could have you could have been with this person with the, the four showing up. Was it you guys with the four showing up? It's you guys with the four showing up. You could have been four months with this person, four weeks with this person. Some of y'all, maybe four days, maybe, or four dates. And this person already tried to pull that, that fucking fuck shit to make you feel... It's almost the energy, this King of Wands is almost that energy of, 
Uh, you know, someone's got to make themselves out to be more important than what they were. This person could have been trying to make you feel like you needed them instead of them needing you. Uh, when they just wanted to undermine you and kind of self propel themselves or self, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I want to say something self, self grandiose, self, they wanted to make themselves more fucking important than what the hell they were. So this person was probably intimidated by you, Capricorn, and they just didn't realize how quickly you would just drop some shit, right? So if the text started getting a little, this person tried to do that passive aggressive, or maybe they tried to pull in, uh, maybe they tried to make you jealous by bringing up exes or making it seem like they had other options. You just called her bluff. Like, you know what? If you got other options, go to your other options. I'm good. Bye. Because someone did probably have some feelings here at Capricorn, but again, they done fucked themselves up out of this. Some of them may try to bring their happy ass in thinking you're going to let your guard down and forgive them, Cappies. I don't know about that. What do you think? Temperance here, Seven of Swords, and the High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, I think this person was definitely into some mind games. Uh, this, this person, uh, heavy Sag energy here with the Temperance card. I think this person liked to just manipulate. The high priestess there in reverse, they really had to make themselves feel far better than what they were. You know, with the star here and that high priestess in reverse and the seven of swords, they could have been a person that lied. Maybe you caught this person up in a lie about what the hell they had going on and you were like, what the fuck? Right? Just come as you are. Uh, this person definitely... I don't want to just say this person is, is an ass. Well, I think they are an asshole because they definitely need to get some self-respect and some self-esteem. But the if they tried to play some shit on you, you just nixed it. You're like, what the fuck? Right? Everyone tries to, to make themselves, uh, you know, out to be important and out, you know, you want to kind of advertise yourself, but you can get to the point where it's just, okay, you know what, J just shut the fuck up, <laughs> you know, we can work into that, you know what I mean, Cappies, but I think this person used it in a negative way, just to kind of make everyone feel like they were the important one, like you were lucky that they were spending time with you, but at the end of the day, this person was probably happy as fuck you were giving them time and attention, you know what I mean, but instead of letting you know that, and, and just coming just, it's not even like coming clean. If they were just honest and, you know, been grateful, saying, you know, thank you for, you know, all the dates. Thank you for your time. I'm so glad we were able to to meet and, and go on these dates and get to know each other. If they would have been just a little more, um, if they'd have been a little less guarded and, and not thought, so they obviously feel that you are impressive enough, You or maybe they're just intimidated as fuck. Capricorns, and they just they just tried too fucking hard, and you didn't like it. I really feel that's this person's energy. I, I'm not. Some of them could want to try to come back and and get get your time and attention again. I don't know. You know, that's probably going to really depend upon how big they showed their ass trying to make you feel dependent upon them. I think this person is probably, their problem is they're very codependent and they lack self-esteem. They lack, uh, they lack faith in what the hell they come with, right? You know, everybody is beautifully flawed. We're all not perfect. We all have areas we can grow uh, and uh, expand on. Maybe this person is so, they're unable to bring that to a relationship. And maybe it's just because they don't know no better, right? Maybe they've been in toxic relationships. They don't understand how that healing energy works, how two can be one and, and uh, equal, right? You're, you shouldn't be in competition with someone that you're dating. You shouldn't be in competition with a partner that you plan to build with, right? You work as a team. It almost feels like you're dealing with somebody who just, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's just you intimidated them so much that they thought they would 
make you feel insecure around them when they were feeling insecure around you, Capricorn. But either way, I agree with you. I don't like that energy either, right? Uh, come as you are. Let's make this equal. Because if not, we can end this shit. But someone don't want to end it. Because they realized they done fucked up their own chance. And I really feel it's just, it was their insecurity. It was just their insecurity at the end of the day. Masculine or feminine on this? Capricorn, take it how it resonates in your situation. The fool. Someone taking a chance. With the Hierophant in reverse and the Devil in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. <sighs> Empress, Knight of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorns, I really feel, with the Empress showing up here, and I believe we had the Emperor at the beginning of the deck, you just... Now, again, if Capricorn, if this isn't your energy, this could have been uh, you towards somebody else. If somebody else kind of made you feel insecure because you stood in your strength and power. Emperor, Empress energy, right? They, they're in charge. They're in charge of their life. They do what they need to do. They stand out. And you don't fuck around with an emperor or an empress, right? So I think somebody just got too much in their head and made a shitty decision when it came to dealing with this emperor or this empress energy. I think this person just didn't know how to deal with it. They felt insecure. So in, in their insecurity, they ran away and and just got too much in their head. They felt restricted. They really did feel restricted. They really felt uh, inadequate. I'm getting inadequate. This person just really didn't feel inadequate. So they thought they'd try to use some fucked up reverse psychology on you, right? Maybe they read an article somewhere. They listened to somebody and thought that if they kind of made you feel insecure about yourself, you would... Uh, it's like grand, grandiose size, grandiose, what the fuck, I can't even picture the word, this person tried to make themselves far bigger than what they were, they tried to be more uh, grandiose, big, gra is it grandstanding, yeah, there's a fucking G word and I cannot think of it, that's how this person was looking at this situation, but it was basically to bring insecurity to you, because this person has some issues they need to work on, Foolishly, some of them could try to come back and apologize. Maybe try to drop the shit if they if they're really interested. Because we got the higher font here in reverse, the devil and the nine of pentacles. Someone could be seeing why that shit don't work. This could be a person who's insecurity. I'm really feeling with this. This is someone's insecurity. Uh, with that devil there in the middle, this person is unable to. To have faith and trust that not everybody is uh, shallow. That not everybody bases everything on money. If, if someone was dating, let's say there was a salary difference, uh, a socioeconomic difference. This person held on to the fact that, or the thought process that maybe they couldn't, someone couldn't be in a relationship if, you know, they made less than somebody. Um, for my feminines, this could have been a man that's thinking she makes more money than me. She has more, more. you know, she, you have a house and maybe they have an apartment. You know what I mean? Uh, they just can't get over the fact. Does it make them a bad person? No, people, you know, have their thoughts and have their, uh, what's the word? Um, they have their misgivings on things. I think this person probably just doesn't feel like uh, people would accept them if they didn't have more. You know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, a lot of people in relationships base it on someone's money, the job that they have, the status that they have. Uh, more about the superficial things because the devil there is just basically in, uh, you know, Cappies, there you are, standing there making this person think. Um, they didn't have faith and trust that God would bring them the right person. 
And that you weren't going to judge them on superficial shit. Yeah, Cappies, you hid there on me. Jax! Sweetie! <laughs> Sorry off you here. Jackie's over. She's like a kid. Whenever I read, she's within eyesight. Some of y'all may give this person a chance because we got the victory card here. Okay. Someone could be coming in, waving that white flag. I feel that's a white flag victory. Someone could be like, okay, I'm sorry. Look, you got to deal with this person, Queen of Swords with the Five of Swords. So if you were by chance to let this person come back in, you're going to say any more fuck shit and I'm out the door. Okay. Uh, if you want to let this go. Eight of Pentacles there. You might be willing to give this person, forgive that indiscretion of theirs in the fact that they tried to pull some shit. I think this person just tried to do everything they could to make you feel insecure. You know, they were building themselves up to be worth far more than what they were instead of just coming straight, you know, here I am, right? That's going to be a decision you're going to have to make this Eight of Pentacles. Are you going to want to work with this person? Are you going to want to give this a chance? Is this a relationship or a person that you would want to work with? You could have that decision to make. But, you know, the Queen of Swords here, the Queen of Swords teaches, it can be a harsh lesson, but it, it comes from a good place, right? The Queen of Swords energy. Now, in the reverse, that's being a bitch. Some of you could maybe give this person another chance if they were able to come come in and just lay it out all out lay it all out on the line. Um, I'm really getting that this person just totally. Uh, that's some fuck shit. They wanted to make you feel insecure so they would feel better about themselves. This person could have made you think they had other people. If they were, if you met them on a dating site, maybe after a certain time, they still popped up there and would try to, they, I think this person just tried to do everything they could to make you feel insecure. Uh, when at the, at the heart of the matter, they were, and they didn't realize that emperors and empresses, they don't take that shit. They'll take the fucking loss and just go, right? If you spent four months with this person and they started this fuck shit, you were like, you know what? Bye. I don't need this shit. I ain't got that much invested. I'm going. So whether you want to deal with this energy or not, that's going to be up to you. Could have been four dates, four weeks, four months, and then this person, uh, that sort of negative side. And it was negative because this person just has low self-esteem, low self-respect. Especially Capricorn, if you were getting maybe promotions at work, things were going good for you, opportunities coming in, and this person just felt stagnant and stuck. And you know, for my uh, female Capricorns out there, that could have bothered a man, made him feel insecure. Maybe you do own a fucking house or own your damn apartment, and this person's barely getting by. Right? And that could be some shit that they just couldn't handle. Does it make them a bad person? No, it's jealousy. It is kind of petty. And, you know, if, if they want to go after an empress, for some of you, they've probably never been with somebody that actually respected themselves enough. That fuck shit works on low vibing individuals, right? That's why you got uh, some of these fucking people fighting over the same motherfuckers. Uh, it's like, you like, emperors and empresses don't do that, right? Let them, may the best bitch win, right? You don't give a shit. You ain't in there in that conflict. Mm -hmm. So, take it how that resonates for you, Capricorn. Damn, 24 minutes, Cappies. You all got it a little, you all got a little extended. Shh. Don't tell nobody, okay? You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring, -a ring, -a ring. <laughs> four, four dates, four weeks, four months. I don't see years. I don't. I think this was just someone new. Um, 
<laughs> you know, if you made your decision already, I'd say stick to it. Your friend zoned them. Leave them the fuck where the hell they are. That'll teach them a lesson. <laughs> you do you, though, Cappies. Peace, love, and light, Capricorn.